I really need to fix my upload schedule on YouTube. There's just not a lot of stuff to do right now, so it's cold, the weather's shitty, everybody's working, I'm unemployed, so I never have anything to do. I'm gonna go drop this off at USPS, and I think we're gonna go help Frangel get a Civic towed. We'll see where the day takes us, and we'll go from there. Bad news, I broke the Subaru. I was doing a pull, and the car started running really bad, it dropped damn to like a .75, and then it started missing, cylinder four. Getting crazy feedback knock, it's retarding timing, like 18 degrees max I saw at one point. And then my roughness is still in the four is getting pretty bad. It was hitting like eight high high 80s. So yeah, hopefully it's a spark plug or an injector or something like that and not uh, you know, a big crack through a cylinder four piston that likes to overheat in Subarus. Here's my access port. Everything's zeroed out. I haven't started the car. I'm gonna start it right now so you guys can hear it and you YouTube mechanics to tell me what's wrong with my Subaru. Um, here we go. Okay, so you can see there, my roughness in cylinder four is just climbing and climbing and climbing at idle. It doesn't do it when it's not at idle. When I'm accelerating, it's retarding timing, but it's not giving me any roughness when I'm accelerating. My dam's at zero. I'm still getting a whole bunch of roughness in cylinder four. I'm gonna give it a quick little baby rub so you guys can see. See how it stops? And if I hold it at 2,000 RPMs right there, it's not getting any more roughness. It drops to zero and it stays at zero. But as soon as it hits idle again, right now it's idling, it's missing really bad. <laughs> Throwing this uh, misfire related PFFFE or PFFFF, and then it's throwing my cylinder four misfire detected. You can hear it. I also have an exhaust leak, so that's my own oopsie. But, I mean, you can see the motor vigorously shaking. I don't know how well you guys can see the, the vibration. But she's missing all right. So I'm not really sure what's wrong. I'll probably end up taking her to the shop tomorrow, try to figure it out. For today, I'm just gonna call it a day, park it for the night. And I just washed it yesterday. She looks so clean, so pretty, and now she's broken and running like shit. Subarus, man, it's a love-hate relationship. Guys, my Uber's here. Okay, so it's the next day. I'm about to start the car up, see if it's still running like crap. If it is, we're probably gonna boroscope it and check the spark plug in cylinder four, make sure that there's not a hole in my cylinder. And if it isn't, great, then it's fine. I guess we'll better find that right now. So I'm gonna start off by hitting my access port here and clearing the misfire codes and anything that I had going on. Maybe it'll just fix itself. Subarus like doing that sometimes. Sometimes they just like fixing themselves. Ignition's back on. My damn, since I just reset my code, my damn is at one. We're about to just start and see what happens. Moment of truth. So far, so good. Sitting at 1500 though, so that's might be why it's not missing. I'm not getting any roughness in cylinder four, at least not like I was yesterday. Hopefully it's not broken. Okay, that's, that's better. So I had to FaceTime the I had to FaceTime the Subaru guy to see what the fuck is going on here. When's the last time you did your spark plugs? Never. Really? Yeah, like you when I rebuilt the motor, I put the old plugs back in because they looked all right. Like they weren't new, but they looked all right. I mean, it could be your spark plugs. Injector failure is weird on Subarus. That's like an Audi thing. So I don't know if it'll be injector failure. Or it might not be anything, because Subarus like to fix themselves. That happens to me all the time. It's starting to drop in idle right now, and I can feel the car vibrating. Drop. <laughs> My dam hasn't dropped yet, but I just got some roughness in cylinder four. Ah, <laughs> uh, there it goes. Okay, now it's missing. So it's uh, only missing at idle, at like a thousand or under. Why the hell would it do that? Oh yeah, now um, it's missing really bad. I don't know if you like if you look at my shift knob, I don't know if you can tell how bad it's vibrating. Yeah. Holy shit, dude. Alright, dude, shut this shit off. <laughs> nope. Uh, sounds about right. It's fucking broken. It's never spark plugs and it's never coil packs. Cause that's too easy. So if people ever tell you they fixed a problem. Bet you there's spark plugs and coil packs, dude. They're lying to you. 